I made the choice. 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 I made the choice to fight cancer. My wife uh, first attracted uh, cancer. She had it for five years. I first found the lump was the morning after Christmas of 2010. We got the official diagnosis that it was um, hepatoblastoma, which is a rare liver cancer, one in a million kids. I found out I had cancer, breast cancer, uh, in July of 06. In um, 2008, my grandmother was diagnosed with myelo dysplasia, a type of cancer where the bone marrow doesn't produce red cells. Meadows Regional Medical Center is a very up-to-date and new facility. We are still expanding our cancer treatment options. We do not currently have radiation oncology here at Meadows, so the patient is then forced to essentially choose um, a location to travel to, and then on a daily basis we'll have to make that track to wherever they're going to have their radiation therapy. I was sent for a um, consult for radiation and they did want to do radiation but it was in Statesboro and they wanted to do 28 times and it would have been for me to drive to Statesboro every day. So I opted not to do that. We have had patients within our practice that have elected to not undergo radiation therapy um, as part of their treatment which unfortunately decreases their chance for not only cure, but also prolongation of their, of their life. I had uh, the chemo treatment here in Vidalia over at uh, the cancer center. I was under Dr. Jane Bay at the time, and uh, my um, radiation, I had to go to Statesboro. Oh, it was hectic, you know, just, uh, 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 just driving there every day. Traveling out of town to have cancer treatment is, is difficult. It's a money issue and it's a time issue. For us, you know, it's hard on Silas traveling an hour and a half to get to where he's going every other week. It's so important for patients to have radiation near where they're getting chemotherapy. To get radiation, that's every day, Monday through Friday. But we have to fit chemo in with that at times. And I had patients who had to drive an hour and a half to and an hour and a half back to get the radiation, get chemo in between. Some of the biggest hurdles for patients diagnosed with cancer um, is availability of the care. It makes it more difficult to find someone to do for them what you think needs to be done because you're always talking with someone who is out of your network. And if you don't know them personally, and most of us don't, the follow-up is not what I would like it to be. The most exciting thing about our Cancer Center project is that it brings together the fields of medical oncology and radiation oncology, and consolidates those under one roof with all the support services that a patient will need for diagnosis and treatment. Our ultimate goal for the Cancer Center would be to have a comprehensive cancer center, a place uh, I refer to as one-stop shopping, uh, a place that people can come and their needs can be addressed. One of the advantages of the Cancer Center is having a multidisciplinary team here in the Cancer Center who discuss the patient's care and so we're talking about getting together a tumor board and presenting patients to so we all real time can talk about a patient as they start their do their treatment planning kind of focusing our cancer um, specialists and our cancer capabilities, I think, by designating a, a cancer center here. There's so many things that are going through a patient's mind. Their families are worried. There's appointments that have to be scheduled. There's surgeries. Um, Portacaths have to be placed. Your medical oncologist has to coordinate care with your radiation oncologist, with your surgeon. This is um, the nurse navigator can serve as a liaison for all these people um, to help coordinate your care. Having a patient navigator would have been nice because I did not know what to expect with any of this. It would have been nice for my family to have had someone to talk with, to lead them, especially my little one. It would have been nice for her to talk to someone because. Um, for her to know what to expect at school when someone asks her about it. Too many people that have cancer that you know they need the support. They need to know that there's something need to be done about this because this is a disease that it touches everyone. 
for you to gain monies from corporate corporations uh, or other people that just want to give in the community. A lot of people like that look at a, at a foundation and see the involvement of its employees of a facility. So it's real good for each employee to be a member, if at all possible. Thereby, you know, some of these larger uh, businesses and so forth that want to give to us realize that we, we bought in and we're part of it. As an employee to an employee, I'm asking you to find it in your heart to give to the Choice Campaign. Whether it be $4, $10, or $50, every little bit helps us to fight cancer in our community and bring quality medical care close to home. I made the choice to fight cancer.